Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome to day 149 of the Freebie account. You, you can see here 150 because it's like right on reset and I couldn't record the whole day because the past three hours almost we've been doing uh, no more jockeys with the Saffron Man and Dead with Jedi. It's like a fun non-raid related stream. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, just go over to the Saffron Man uh, website and YouTube channel. You'll probably find the episodes on that one. It's just a fun kind of game. But uh, even so, <laughs> look at this. This is my account, guys, and I'll show you what I've done today. I've done a big upgrade to my Lord Shepherd 60 Destroy Set Immortal Gear. You might be thinking of where I'm going with this. We'll go through that in a bit and the gear. But I did get one Ancient Shard, which I want to open because we still have 7 hours of the 2x. So I want to open that and see what I'll actually get from that. So I'll open it and hope for the best. And we get a rare and we get a per uh, perforator okay N whatever um perforator so okay um not getting any close to razin and with the epic that i picked from day 150 which i'm still going to cover tomorrow but still with that epic that i picked up with the 250 points i'm actually very close to the chappy chase chicken here so that's 200 points away i should be able to get this if i push a little bit with my shards so maybe if I push a little bit with my Mr. Shirts, I'll be able to get that. So might be able to push for a chicken at least. So uh, what I've done is I did a, an upgrade to Lord Sharper. I could, got him to 60 yesterday, got him masteries, uh, almost fully leveled up, almost fully mastered up. And I did book him, guys. I did book him. It took me quite a few books. So if you remember, I was at, at 10. Now I'm at 6. So it took me four more books to actually get his uh, passive going which was worth it in the end, because uh, you'll see where I went with it. And uh, I put a destroy set on. So when I was farming the dragon dungeon, I was always focusing on, okay, get that destroy set and get some pieces going because you'll need it eventually for the scar boss. And that's where I've needed it. And then immortal gear, because immortal gear, you need it for some kind of healing. So this is the build, a destroy set, a mortal set, uh, 80% ideally on chest and gloves. The gloves are very bad. They are four star without any speed substat. And the chest is okay with some speed and some defense, which is, I mean, the defense works. It helps him uh, quite okay in, in beating the scrap boss. So um, it, it was okay. I did spend a lot of my silver. I'm down to 4 million silver, which I'll need to get up again. If, if I want to have any chances on the next fusion, I'll need to get that to about 20 million or so. So I'll, have to get back onto you know my farming routine and uh yeah i'm down to four million the gems are about the same but i'll probably be spending those in arena as well because i've been getting reports by many players that arena has been recently fixed and i did get one page of of bots while i was in gold i got when i did a reset i got a page with with four sets of champ four sets of teams and the teams were extremely easy, non-ascended. It were the typical bot pages. But out of you know the last 10 refreshes that I've done today, since I've realized that, only one of them had those four bots. All the other ones were a similar thing to this one. So this one has all arbiters except th these three, I guess. So all arbiter teams ex except those three. So I'm guessing the bot teams are more in the previous tiers. I guess um, it's still fine with me. As long as I, I can find them and farm them a little bit, then I should be at an okay position to uh, get my great hole going and uh, and really progressing this account. So boom, that's the burst that I needed to see. And um, I'll, after this, I'll show you where I use Lord Trapper and how, uh, how, how that build works. Come on. There we go. Okay, that was like almost like an instant win. So I've been pushing some, um, some three v three. You need to be pushing your three v three guys. Get that bazaar going. Get that Drexar. It really, um, it's gonna gonna make a huge difference in all of the um areas that you're farming, especially Spider Twenty. So there we go. Doom Tower. Uh, not normal, because I've done normal. Hard. Look at the stage where I'm at right now, guys. I'm at stage. 40, which is the um, the frost spider boss. 
but what I actually wanted to show you is this one, the scab boss. So this is the team that I use for the scab boss. I use actually a, a champion with an HP lead. So he benefits Lord Chamfort. So what Lord Chamfort has is, is this guy, he's got a decreased defense. He's got a decreased accuracy and decreased attack. Those are not really useful. But what is useful is this shield on a one turn cooldown, meaning he gets this whenever he gets a turn. At the start of each turn, places a shield buff on this champion equal to 20% of their max HP for two turns. So you saw my health before, about 60,000 health. Uh, I get 20% shield. So how much is that? So on 50,000 health, that's, that's what, 10,000 health. So this one's 12,000 shield, which is really good for protecting yourself from the Scarab boss and also applies a decreased speed uh, debuff on whichever enemy attacks this champion. So you'll see how much protection that gives to Lord Chamfort. So um, I was thinking, do I have any other champions with a big HP lead? Maybe I can use them instead. Um, how much is that, 19%? No, I, I should be able to have somebody else that's a bit stronger, Fracture Crips. No, um, what about this guy? Dungeons? No, doesn't help me. I need all battles or Doom Tower only. So, um, this guy's for Arena. I don't think I have any other champion that gives me an all battles HP lead. Maybe, maybe this girl. 15% again? Okay. So, I guess, I guess I'll stay with the team that I have, which, which work. So, I'll, I'll take you guys in and, and show you how this works. The reason I put four champions in here is basically I need the um, the help to get through the waves. I think Lord Champion can get through them on his own, but it just makes it faster to go through these waves. We've now got four attackers, which are squishy. So once we get to the boss, these four attackers will probably die. So I won't have um, a big issue with the boss attacking me multiple times because of non-shields. So how this guy bo boss works is if you do not have a shield on your champion when you attack, the boss will counterattack. He'll do lots of damage and apply a provoke also, which the provoke just doesn't help you in doing any turns. And it's just, you pretty much die uh, when you get multiple counterattacks by the boss. So you'll see what happens now. So first attack, he attacks, he kills Saito. The boss does his big AoE probably going to kill them too now and now it's only Lord Chamfer then look at that Lord Chamfer just attacks but he's protected because of that big shield just look at how much shield he has and how much damage he takes and the destroy set you need it because I tried it without a destroy set and I just couldn't get the boss down I mean I could get it down but I, I left the house I went out came back like two hours uh two hours later just to see the the victory screen and i saw that the game bugged out because the game has an inner limit of 1500 turns so 1500 turns is the limit so right now what you're seeing is lord chamfer takes one turn the boss takes one turn that's two turns so this is a limit of 1500 if this happens like lord chamfer the boss lord chamfer the boss lord chamfer the boss if this happens more than uh, 1,500 times, then the game will bug out and you will not record the win. And that's a big issue because you basically lose a lot of time. You don't get the benefits of all that time that you wasted. So the destroy set is, is really essential here just so you can get the, the boss's health down. So the masteries that I have on Lord Chamford, they are Warmaster and then um, I think I went support tree. You don't need Warmaster to beat this boss. If you see closely here on the boss's hits, I do some damage, but it's like 300 plus 400. It's nothing too crazy. Even if War Master hits, which does damage based on the enemy's health, the enemy's health damage from War Master doesn't get affected with the destroy set. So um, I don't do more damage on destroying this boss's health. And another reason why you need the destroy set is to remove this upper sh upper shield here on the top. That's very very essential to be removed so that you can do 100% of your damage. So you'll notice that my Lord Champion will, will be doing even more damage the less this shield goes. And you see that he is not going down. 
the immortal set is healing him by about 2,000 per turn that he takes. And he also is protected by about 12,000 shield every time he gets a turn uh, because of that passive that he has. So Lord Trevor is one of the huge champions that benefit in this boss. But the bad thing is, is he's weak affinity. So I wouldn't say he's the best champion for this job. Virgis, a spirit champion, epic this time, can actually do what Lord Trafford is doing, but even better because he is strong affinity here. So the boss's hits and debuffs might not land when a weak hit goes. Uh, the boss damage will be lower. There will, will not be any strong hits from the boss. So there's a less gear requirement on Verges than for Lord Trafford. But since Lord Trafford does this and it works, I don't, I don't mind it. Uh, he's a big carry here. He's one of the reasons that I was okay with the pull and for tomorrow i'll be show you showing you guys uh that he can actually solo uh at dungeon 20 he can solo the ice golem 20 i don't think he can solo further than that but um it's gonna be a, a nice showcase for the free to play account i don't care that he can solo it i don't farm ice golem at all unless it's for the tournament so yeah now the boss's shield is going very low once that is gone, then we'll be doing 100% of our damage as we did before. Of course, we're not doing any crazy damage. It's only one champion and he's not built for damage. He's built for just uh, surviving the hits. Barely any health lost. And when we get attacked, it's about 7,000 damage, which is not enough to get through the shield. So those hits don't go through the shield. The shield replenishes. And the shield only goes away when the boss does this move, which is okay. It's one once every couple of turns. It's not every single turn. I, I'm not sure if this is going to work for later versions of the hard boss, but for now, it's working fine. I'm happy with it, and I'm going with it. So the boss is almost going down. The time needed to beat this boss is not that high. Seven minutes is not that high. You can farm it overnight, I guess. But, um, I mean, for a one-time thing, I'll... I'll use this team to beat it. I don't think I'll be, be building my previous team, the one with um, Metal Shaper. This is way easier, especially for hard Doom Tar. There it is. This is actually a way faster time than I did before. Seven minutes, 57. My previous team, I think had it at, uh, my previous team, I think had it at a much higher, uh, 156 turns. So definitely cool that I'm actually here on the fourth position from my clan. Uh, but yeah, look at this. This is the team that I've beat it and um, really solid team to beat it. I'll be pushing for Doom Tower for the tomorrow's episode and seeing if I can actually beat this boss. I don't think I can beat this, this, um, this stage. I do have most of the Epic Lizardmen, but you pretty much need a Basilisk for this at 60 with a stun set with good damage to beat this hard doom tower and there's no point in pushing hard doom tower on this account at the moment for secret rooms for uh, the bosses maybe i can try and do something um everybody here has drexar i don't have him and he would have been a huge huge time saver but um i'll just i'll just use brogni and see where where that takes me so brogni has 314 accuracy maybe that's enough so this was the video for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, I'm whispering because it's it's really late and I usually don't record at this time when everybody's sleeping. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.